Hello, and welcome to class. My name is Andy Eshtara. I am the co-founder and the CEO at Guzi, Guzi Concierge Africa. Guzi is a, a startup at a pre-stage level that is trying to digitize the physical market in such a way that customers or buyers can connect to their sellers or preferred service providers in real time and be able to negotiate in real time and talk to these people in real time. We are going to be launching soon, but in the meantime, we have our MVP that is uh, focused on online grocery food supply network, online grocery store that uh, connects uh, residents to uh, um, wholesalers and farmers where they can actually get their food products at a very subsidized price. So we have an online grocery store where you can place your order and we deliver to your doorstep the same day. That is what we're currently working on. And we launched last year that during the lockdown 2020. And now we are preparing to launch the big thing, which is the digitized market. Now today, I want us to look into how we can leverage on free tools out there to launch our online business businesses at little or no cost. We want to build with Google Form. We want to build with Google Form. We want to be able to uh, sell, have an e-commerce, set up an e-commerce platform or uh, a training platform with your courses, your blogs, your 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 blogs and your podcast with little or no or no cost. And why I'm doing this is that I know there are some people who may be on budget and they want to get started or you want to test out something, maybe test out an idea. I uh, don't really want to start spending a huge amount of money. That is why I'm doing this training. So you're welcome. Before you start anything, you must start with your why. So why do you want to build with Google Form? Why do you want to start on this thing? Why? What is your why? Do you want to make money? Do you want to uh, give freebies? Do you, who are your customers? Who are your audience? What? Because this will determine the kind of platform or what you're going to build today. What you're going to build. What can you build with Google Form? There are a lot of things you can build with Google Form. Google Forms are meant for you to build surveys, maybe uh, questionnaires, online questionnaires, online surveys with quizzes. During your class, if you want to collect answers or quiz your, your students, you can use Google Form to do that. And today we're also looking how you can use Google Form to build an alternative website. Alternative website where you can add links, courses, e-commerce, storefront, web pages, articles, blog, pod, podcasts, and all of that. So how can we get this done? That is why we are taking this course today. So how to build with Google Form is why we are here. We're here to learn how to build with Google Form and uh, seamlessly an interactive platform that will serve your users in an interesting way now first of all you must know how to even get to google form if you have a gmail account that means you have google forms these are the add-ons we're going to be using to convert our google form to something more interactive Ne a form facade near tell what to get we're going to focus on only on this add-on there are other add-ons but we're going to focus only on these ones now let's go let, let's get started you want to build with google forms right so how, how did we get here it is how you get to this place. I'm going to start from the beginning. Now, I click and uh, go to my browser. I, I go to my Gmail account. I go to my Gmail account. And it's, going, it's loading. So, I want to build with this my Gmail account that is called build platform. Build platform at gmail.com. It was created only for this. So, if I go to this my Gmail account, I will go to this place I will look for Google form I click on Google forms and I will start building I'm going to close this one because we won't need it for now I will also close all of these ones okay I'll close this one let me see which one is this okay I'll also close it so this one is something I've built this is a Google form I've built in the past I've built with this I build this and I use it as a Google form. So this is a platform I built with Google form. Yes, I built it with Google. This is a Google form. This is a Google form. And look at the site. This is what I share with my client. This is what I share with my client. This is an e-commerce platform. It's an e-commerce platform. Yeah. You can see you can add to cart here, you can add to cart here. So how did we get to this point? 
we from here from here this is google form you can see this is google this is the sign to here how did we get there this is why we are here today we are building only you can also build something for training and courses look at this this particular site wasn't built with google form but we can do something that looks like it i will do it in the second video something that looks like this one you see You see this platform? You can build it with Google Form. This is a, a platform, Small Startup Africa is a, a training platform for entrepreneurs who want coaching, mentorship. They want to be part of a, of, a, of a community of entrepreneurs where they can get inspiration. I'm part of it, so that's why I can use it. So look at this now, build this. So we want to replicate this thing you're looking at here, this platform can make choices look at this platform is is long it's huge how were we able to do that so i will go to the new one the new platform so i want to replicate that so i'll be doing copy and paste because i won't have to start typing on fresh you see this go to google go to not 12 stress free i'll copy it and i'll paste it here I'll title this one a different title. Build with Andy. That is build with me. So this one, we'll copy this. We'll copy the description. Copy. We'll place it here on the description. The description place. Place it here. Now I want to add this. I want to add this. I want to add the second section two we have 16 sections this is section two we have this section one section two so i want to do section two copy this is where you add your section look at where you click to add your section you click here to add your section section two here what do you want to buy i'm going to do all of this before i preview you can preview to see what you're building now we have this section no description here but we have this this is in form of a question so I'll copy choose the category and click next below uh, I'll go to where we're building and I'll click on question it is already here let me delete it so I can I can show you how to add it so this is how for you to create this this particular area under section 2 you have this area you create it with question link with question this is how you add question add question so you add question to, to it under this question the question will be this choose a category and click next below uh, the choice is going to you can make it a drop down you can make it a check boxes can make it choice multiple choice i'll go for multiple choice because that is what we have here right let me check yeah, this is multiple choice that's what we have here and that is what we should have there now we have different options either i go to vegetables or grains swallow tuba and plantain fruits i'll just create five the first five we have vegetables the next is green greens the next we have fruits the next we have fish. The next we have what should we have here? What should we have here? Let's put oil. Okay. Now we have created the question part. I'm going to show you how we get to the go to section. This when you click this is just a navigation um, instruction. So let's create section three. Section three says something. Uh, copy the items you selected have been added to your shopping bag I'll create my section 3 you click here to add section remember so this is it let's see what if there's any description on this one no description but there's a question are you done shopping I'll click here and add a question are you done shopping I think I want to do copy 
and you're going shopping uh, copy okay I want to, this is section three right I want to add a question and you done shopping I'll say yes I'm done this one is no I want Okay, just follow me. Section three, four. What is in section four? Show more. Shop more for more value. Okay, okay. We can, we can create this. So this is we've created. Section one, section two, section. I'm going to create section five, section four. Here, shop more for more value. I'll see. Copy, paste. I want to duplicate this because I need it. Okay, so uh, because this is what I need it down here. Shop more for more value. I need this here. This is a duplicate. Okay. Let me see how it looks here. Okay. Choose the category and click next. I'll copy this as well. I'll go here. Add this on the description. Okay. I'm going to show you how to navigate through all of this. Now we have vegetables. Let's now add these pictures. So you see, this is a description. I'll type out this. Okay, intent, copy the description and the title at the same time so i'll just copy this i'll go here i'm gonna this is remember this is vegetables we have vegetables here but so when people click vegetables here it will take them to this place where they'll see the vegetables they want to buy so i'm gonna section five is going to be vegetables let me add section five section five here is yes. yeah okay no, no. it's going to be on description it's supposed to be on description so here you have vegetables. vegetables. Now let's add vegetables. Oh, this is here. This is supposed to be in section. See, this question here is in section five. It's supposed to be in section four. So I move it up. Section five should have the same questions. So let me import questions. For section five, move it to this place here so section five we have tomatoes selected okay and our tomatoes these are selected tomatoes selected and clean selected and clean I'll add it They've been cleaned and selected. If you go to Mantor, you see the ones that are not selected. You have a lot of them, um, both the hard and the soft ones together. But these ones will remove all the soft ones. So the price will be more than the unselected ones. So you see, we have all of these selected ones. Okay. So I'll put it. I can add a picture here, but let me go with this. A bag. I have, uh, let me say, 12,000 naira for a big basket. Okay. And we say 9,000 9, naira for medium. Basket of tomato. 
we have we have um, 48 4, naira for per small basket so let me now add you know when you're selling something you must have pictures there should be pictures that will show the buyer what they are buying so we are going to uh, add the image the tomato I already have those images edited using Canva so that they will be at the same size looking uh, the same the same way so that there will be uniformity uh, I'm going to go to where I have those pictures okay here you see I have a basket of tomato which I'll add here right now it's adding it's coming up it's coming up you're going to see yes but basket so this is a big basket of tomato this is what you find in the market for the medium basket let's let's add a picture so that the customer the buyer will have an idea let's use this crate as as a sample let's use this crate yes it's uploading it's coming out it's coming it's coming it's coming hold on okay so you see the medium basket that's a crate Let's add this, this small bucket, the small bucket. Click on browse. Remember you have to arrange your your images in such a way they will be well aligned at the same size. You can use Canva to do that. Okay. Yeah. You see it? We've added tomatoes. Do you want to preview? I think we should preview what we've built so far. Let's take a preview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is section one. You have to click next to get to section two. Does it look like what we are building? It's it. You click section. Okay. to show you how you need to navigate through this is it you can see submit you're not submitting anything we're going back to go and come. anyway this is a preview so we can close this preview and go to this one okay now it's not looking we don't have this this uh, header this is a header picture so let's add a header picture to this uh, one uh, if you want to add a header picture go to customize theme choose image that is the image header image i'm going to go to upload i'll upload from my own collection uh which picture should i put there any idea let me get in it may not be exactly the picture that we had there okay let me let me use this one So this is a header. Okay. So we we'll use it as our header. Done. Mm -hmm. You see, we have a header. Does it look alike? 
this is it so I have this here so close it close the thin part okay so we want when we click on vegetable for it for it to take us to these uh, tomatoes here we can make options so what how you do that is come here you go go to section based on answer click on it Mm -hmm. So continue to next section. So when you click on vegetable, where will it take you to? It will take you to section 5, which is where it is. So I'm going to create these ones as well. Section 5. So when you click on this, the first vegetable you see option, it takes you to where you see the pictures and you can click what you want to buy. Okay. Now let me click. Let me create more. We've created vegetable. Maybe we should add another thing. Let me see what is here. On the vegetables, we have... We have tomatoes, we have, we have, let me add another thing, let me add green pepper. Yes, I love green peppers. Let me add green pepper. So it will make, you make it a question. Where is it adding now? And it's added to another section. Drag it down when it adds to the wrong section. Drag it here. So you see, green pepper. If you want to add a description here, you can add the description here. You say fresh and it's organic. That's what it is. Green pepper. So I'll say put the prices. This is um this is two thousand naira. Well, let's put this sign. Two thousand naira per big bucket of pepper then say 1000 to per medium bucket of, 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 of. then let's let's do 700 naira Per small bucket of, of green pepper, right? So remember, this is green pepper. So you can either add pictures here to show it or here, but there's no need of adding pictures here since you can also add it here. I'll show you where you must add picture at the first header. Okay, let me add green pepper. And the thing is, the green pepper we have here is that is not. Do not uh, we don't have it based on measurement so we just add a picture of green pepper and it, leaving the client to imagine how it will look like oh where's our green pepper green pepper is not here i have to look for it let me go to my pictures i think i have I have them somewhere else let me see if i have them here they're not here i'll go back and we go here, are they here? They're not here. Okay, so they are here definitely. I should have my green, green pepper. Oh my god, it's not here. Where are thou? Green pepper. Okay, if I don't have green pepper, I'm going to upload something else. But I know I have green pepper somewhere. Oh yes. Look at it here. Mm -hmm. So you hold on for it to load. It's uploading, it's uploading. Mm -hmm. We will soon be there right now. Just watch it. All right, all right, we're here. So I'm going to still upload another picture of this pepper. I put it in three places. Okay. You can design your own based on how you want it to look. Use green pepper. So I'm uploading green pepper pictures on all of the three options: the big, the medium, the small basket. Here we 
can see it here. Let's suppose for the last one, the small, at which we have it snapped in big, medium, and small baskets. So we're gonna pull it to give the customer a feel of the sizes of what they are buying. You can do it like that, just like a tomato. Okay. So I'm going to show you another one where we are going to use the magic instead of uploading pictures here. You know, we could, we could have uploaded pictures here, but we didn't. But if you're using a drop down, you're going to upload your picture here, and every other one will not be. Let me show you. Let me add a question. What do I want to add? Let me put up a camera room. Pepper. Okay. Should I use camera room pepper? Okay. Mm -hmm. 1002 per per cup. So um, I don't want to use only this. I can even adjust the picture something small. I want to use only one picture for this. So I'll use a drop down. A drop down menu. Yes, you're going to see what we preview how it will look like. So now let's create another section. A section for another product. We've gone through vegetables, right? This is these are all vegetables. Let's put this uh is another section. This section is, uh, you see, tubers, plantain, tubers and plantain is a, a separate section. So let's do tubers and plantain. I'll copy it, then I'll put it here, tubers and plantain. Do I have tubers here? Let me see. And I don't have tubers and the sample of what I'm doing. So I'll do greens. Let's do or better still, I can do and change this greens to tubers, tubers and plantain. So what it means is that I'll come here, I'll do tubers and plantain. Any description? No description. So I'll start adding questions. Uh, I'll add questions here. We have, we have. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Okay, how are they being sold? I'll just guess. That um, we have the the bag is nine thousand eight hundred naira per bag. Then you have five thousand naira. Then you have um, 700 naira per portion, per small portion. No, so let's let's add because of time. I'm going to be adding just one single, one single picture, one single picture. I won't be doing this whole picture here. I'll just add this. Only one, only one. Yes, because of time, remember, because of time. So, browse. Uh, I will go to where I have potatoes. I don't know if I have potatoes here. Do I have them here? There's a 
Please I have better tools. I don't think it's in this document, so I'll go to this. Okay. I have them somewhere. Pretty hmm. tools well. Yes, this is my pretty tools. Portions of pretty tools. Is uploading. Okay. Okay, so you see our potatoes. Look at our potatoes. So um, this is it. Let me create. Should I create for plantain? Let me just leave it. I'll create for another one. I will create, uh, let me create for product, let me create product for I thought this is what we did Did I change it here? I hope it's not here that I did that in detail is somewhere else. I guess it's here. Okay. 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 So let's create for fruits right now. I'm going to create a section. Okay. I'll drag this section down. Oh. Okay. When you create a section and you want to change the location of the section, you come here. Move section. I'll move the section entitled here. To the last is the last section so it has changed from where it is to this place I'll save it and I want it to be here last section section 7 the last section so I save it you see it here so you see your section you see what it has created it's still above I want it to be downtown. I'm going to move it to move section. Okay, I want to move it to this place. You can click here, it comes over here. Let's save it. Okay, so I have my section here. And what do I want to do here? I want to create fruits. Fruits here. Right? We have fruits. Anyway, um, I've just created I don't need to be looking at that. So what fruit do I add? Let me add apples. Apples meter uh, what's the price? I'll say I'll say you know how it's being sold in the markets, but I'll just use for, for ease. I'll say two thousand naira per five So let's add our apple. Where do we have apples? I okay, so we have apples somewhere. Okay, here we have our apples. This is our gold apples here. Gold apples here. See the apples are here. Now we've 
created this is there anything else you want us to create we still have to create fish and oil okay let me create another section which is i can actually do can i i can do a duplicate of this then i'll do i'll change to fish so let's continue with uh, the section eight we've created apples the created fish i said i now did a duplicate of this apple i call it fish what i'm going to do is to change this picture here if you click on this picture let me show you how to change picture you click here it will show you where to remove it's not remove i'll do change i'll change it for um, apple to fish okay yeah that's what i want to do let me go to where i have fish do i have any fish i have mackerel fish you know what let me do stock fish let me do stock fish okay so i'm doing stock fish right now it's uploading remember to arrange your pictures in such a way that they all have the same size they all have they should be all should be they should all be of the same size so i'm changing the name to stock fish stock fish so uh, i'll call it i'll still leave it maybe per big long body uh, 1004 for the big head big head 500 naira for her small fragment fragment Okay, you can actually show pictures. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I can show pictures here of this fragment. Let me see if I can get that picture. But uh, try as much as possible to keep things organized. Keep things organized. Okay. Do I have Starfish. No, I don't have. So I will leave it. I'll leave it. Okay. Maybe I should just use. I'm adding the same picture, the same stockfish. Okay, I mean, no, I'll just leave it there. Okay, so the last section that we we have, I think that is oil. Let me do oil. Oil. So this section is off. Okay. Fresh and organic undiluted palm oil. Add a Christian here. This is where I'm going to. Okay. Let me do this. And let me add the quick the, the prices. Two thousand naira. Mm -hmm. 
meter four meter cage. 1,800 naira, 1,800 naira. Uh, okay, and then it can be 1,800. Let me see, 1,002 per 2.5 liter cake. And there's a one of 700 naira. get the pictures I think I have pictures of oil that's why I have pictures of oil and this thing go back here okay this is oil mm. okay it's uploading Show me that is four liters. Let me add for this one. Okay. Go back to this my oh. See. Oh, these are vegetable oil. So I don't have almond oil. Let me use this one. And I'm not going to add to the last one just because of our time. At least you 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 have the idea. You basically have the idea of what I'm trying to do. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the navigation. How do we move from Clicking from here for it to take us to where to here. Let me show you the navigation. So we did we've done this. When you click on the uh, vegetable, should take to section five. Let's go to this one. When you click on tubers and plantain, it should take you to two bars and plantain that's section six when you click on fruit you should take it to section seven which is fruit when you click on fish it should take you to fish i thought we we did that did i not create fish let me check because i can't find it here which section represents fish Okay, like I did, I created stockfish, right? Let me do for oil. When you click on oil, it should take you to oil. Let me check whether I didn't create a section for fish. This is tubers, this is fruit, this is fish. Okay, I created this fish on the questions. I didn't create it on the section. So what am I going to do now? Do I've created this section. Mm, titled section, where is it? I clicked on section, let me find the section. Where is it hiding? Okay, look at where it's hiding. So I'm going to put it move move section. Move section. It's on title. We keep moving down. Move down. Keep moving. Click here, move down below here yeah, this is where it is so i'll click save to save it i'll now locate it where it is here okay here is fish which is section eight fish and that is where stockfish should find itself so i'll drag the stockfish to section eight you see i'm dragging it where is fish 
So I'll do it here. You see it? So let me go back to the navigation button. You use this very first one. Okay, fish. When I click on fish, I want it to take me to section eight, which is fish. You see it? Then when I click, I am not. Yes, I'm done. I want it to take me to. Let me put it. Put put to a section. I want it to take me to some. When I say I am done, I want it to take me to where I will sign off. When I say I am done, okay, I say yes, yes, I'm done. Continue to what section? But when I say no, I'm, I want more items. It should take me to where I will click. This should take me to. Continue to the next section. No, no, no. I don't want to continue to the next section. I want to click, take me to what do you want to buy? I want to take me to what do you want to buy? When I click this one, I want to take me to what do you... What do you want to buy? Yes. So when I'm buying something and I click, uh, no, I want more. She take me to what do you want to buy? Oh, better still, you should take me to shop for more, shop more for more value, okay. Let me change it to not what you want to buy, which is also okay, but let me go to this, this is why it was created. Shop more for more value, let me take it to section 4. So let me create, when I say I'm done, where should it take me to? should take me to, okay, okay, review your order, which should be the last place, the last section, which is section Section what? Section 10, okay, where you review orders. Now I've clicked on section and it's taking me to the section I click here. Uh, mm, let me move it, move it. Okay, let me move it to the last. I'm moving it. And title section, I want to be at the last, last. I'll click save, save. Now, so the last section, which is section 10, is uh, review your purchases. Okay. So take me to review your purchases and everything will come here after reviewing your purchases. Then the section twenty section eleven. I'll review my purchase. Let me delete this one. Delete section. And I want to add questions to this one. So the question I'll add here is name your name, please. Your name. Please. Then it's a small answer. That's your name. Let me duplicate it instead of adding a new one. Then I'll edit it. Your name, please. Delivery address. Email address. I'll click here to duplicate it. Phone number so that we can call you. Delivering any additional instruction, any additional instructions. Okay. Okay. Any other thing that any other information we need to take. Okay, so this is what you review, then you go to me. Okay. So the for the value of what we are buying, we need to use an add-on to put it up. So let's first of all look at what we are we are buying. Let's preview. I would like to get a link to this. So if you click next, 
it takes you. Let's let's navigate through this form. I click vegetable. I will now go to nest. To take me. Yippee! It takes me to the vegetables. Now let's click nest. It takes me to the tubers. Click this. It takes me to the nest thing. But if I go back, I go back and I choose, I choose to go back again, I click on fruits where will take me to, to take me to fruits. Okay, so there's something I need to add here. I want each time I click, I buy and I click nest. I want it to take me to, I want this section to take me to sign out, review your purchases. Okay, now I want it to take me to shop mall. I want it to take me to shop mall. Yeah. After each section, it should take me to shop mall. Let me say shop mall. Okay, take me to shop more. Each time I click next, it should take me to shop more so that I can always make um go to shop more. And to take me to shop more so that I can choose what I want to buy again. Let's see. Shop more. Everything is taking me to shop more. Shop more. I want to shop more. It's going to take me to shop more. Okay, when I'm done with this one, where should it take me to? This is where I review. It's the last one. So let's let me delete this room. preview and let's preview it again. Now, this is next. Takes me to what do you want to buy? I go to vegetable and I click next. Okay, I'm done. Let me buy green pepper and uh, let me buy Cameroon pepper as well. Then I say next. See, it has taken me to shop more for more value. So I want to buy fruits. I click next. I click next. There's an error somewhere. Fruit shouldn't take me to. It should take me to fruit. Okay, so I have to go back here. When I click fruit, when I click um, vegetables, it should take me to this. If I click to bar, I click go to section eight. Fish should take me to this. When I click fish, it should take me to fish. It should take me to fish, right? So why is it not doing that? If I click anything wrong. And I click after section five, go to section shop more. Okay, let me remove it. Continue to next. Let me remove this. Continue to next. Let me just do continue to. Body woman to buy. So next, continue to next. You can remove that one. And let's see. Remember that this self. Um, Google form saves on this one. You don't need to click save. But I'll close this one. Let's use the latest preview. 
the letters will be when you see it. Thickness, body, we'll go to my top market, the chair, you will see. What does it take me to? It takes me here. I buy, I'm buying one big basket of tomato. And uh, the thickness is booty. It takes me to the next thing. I buy this. Okay, I buy this one too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to buy oil. It takes me here. So it takes me to oil because I want to buy oil. So we did a picture for this one. And it takes me to the next one. Now, it's supposed to take me to are you done shopping? I want it to take me to are you done shopping? When I click, are you done shopping? It's supposed to be a section. Let me check the this one. Are you done shopping? It's supposed to be a section on this phone. Let me check our prototype. Let me check our prototype. Let me go here. These items are going to be added to the shop and just shopping. This one takes you to where? Go to section. Mm -hmm. Okay, shop more for more. Go to section. Okay, that's exactly what I need to do here. Go to yes. Yes, I'm done shopping. It can take you to review. You say no, I want more. Take you to this. Okay. So when I am now done shopping, tomato selected. Let's go to preview. You keep previewing until you are able to get exactly the functionality. Everything you need to make it functional is here. Keep uh, reviewing it. Let me shop for tomato. Click next. Uh, I'll buy this one. Where is it going to take me to? That's what I want to know. Okay, it's supposed to take me to. Are you done shopping? So that I will decide whether I want to shop more. Okay. Hmm, let me just. Go to okay. Do this. This one should take me to click next here. If I didn't add anything here, and then this second one go to and click next. Should not take me to the next section. Should take me to are you done shopping? The item section section three. They should all take me to section three, section three. Okay. Where I will know the item is selected. I will add it to your card. Are you done shopping? This is what I want. If I now see yes. So this item are you done shopping? If I now see yes, it will not take me to review your purchases and then use your order. I say no, it is a shop more. So let's review.
let's prove you, let's prove you. So let's say nest vegetables, nest. Okay, I'll buy this one. I'll buy this one. So nest. It's not affecting my it's not affecting the changes. Why? Let me check this one. No, you're not supposed to take me to next. You're supposed to take me to I don't shopping. Okay. Okay. Let me not see. Maybe this one. Let me check what is going on here. Okay, this is where I'm really getting it wrong. Next, you should take me to. Are you what do you want to get? Item selected. Your bag. Are you done shopping? Okay, this is where I we, we are looking. This is overriding the previous setting. So you see under each section, if the after section, this should go to selected and your bag. Okay. Not next. Item is selected. Okay, continue. Not next. So section three. Okay. So let's now see. Let's now preview. Um, let's preview. Let's preview. I'll click next. And I want to buy vegetables. It takes me here. Okay, I'll buy this. I also buy this one. Then I click next. You see, it's items you selected have been added to your shopping bag. Are you done shopping? I'll say no. I want more items. See where it takes me to. See where it takes me to. So, you see, we have our shop more for more value. Let me click on another thing and click next and see how it takes us to. It takes us to. It takes us to. Mm, that shouldn't be made right to take us. No, I want more items. Okay, let me click on that. Then I click on fish. Let me see for example. I'm clicking fish and then see next mm -hmm. then I think there's a setting here I need to change and when you click on no I want more for more value it should take you to shop more and the shop more should take you to the next Okay. Okay. So I'm going to close this uh, preview and do another preview on this one because I've changed some setting. I'll click on preview. Next. Vegetable. I'll click next. I buy tomatoes. Then I go to next. I want to buy no more things. Okay, your item selected. Do you want are you done shopping? No, I want more items. I want more items. Okay, I want to shop for two days. Oh there's an issue here. There's an issue here, I'll have to fix it. If I click on two birds this should take me to the next let's take me to the next nothing more okay let me preview it again sorry guys I think um, there's a little setting error 
we put it again because I'll set it up. Let's try it. I want to buy vegetables. So. Okay, I think here. I go here. And I want to have. Okay. I go to two birds. And oh, what's going on? Now, but I think I've fixed it. Let's preview. Let me preview again and see what is going on. Now, this is our other platform. So I want to buy a vegetable. I click next. It takes me to these tomatoes. I buy my tomatoes. I go to the nest because I've picked that. It's asking me if I'm done shopping. I say no. I want more. It takes me here because I want more. Let me go to tubers. See tubers here. I buy tubers. I still want more. So I click on no, I want more. I want to buy fruit. So I click on buy fruit. And I want to buy this one. Then I think I'm done shopping for today. I click yes, I'm done. Where does it take me to? Yippee, it takes me to view your cart and place order. You see it? So now can I write my name? I can now address, delivery address, email address, phone number, any additional instruction then I can click submit. Now this is uh, how, this is our phone, this is our platform using Google phone. Let's now add, uh, let's add what's it called, the add-ons here. How do you get the add-ons? You click here, remember I said that we're going to be working with some add-ons. Remember these add-ons? The phone facade, Neatel, Wastaget. Yes, that's what we're going to be using right now. Then let me now add the phone facade and Neatel does they do almost the same thing. So but Neatel has a way of adding value, calculating the value of what you bought together. And giving you the total amount or you're going to pay it even has a place where you can integrate payment platform let's go to our add-ons add-ons are here so we're going to install Neatel and we're going to install Wastaget so that Wastaget takes it to you to the seller's whatsapp number so we're looking for the add-ons it's coming I believe I've clicked here, so I guess it's good. So I'll click near tail. I'm searching for near tail to download near tail. This is near tail, so it's going to click here for it to get installed. You can see it's already installed. We were even here to install. I've already installed it. I need another add on, the second add on that I definitely need is I need I need was targets you click on was target and here you are with this you click on it it gets installed when it gets installed to tell it it's been installed so it's been installed so you see this icon here this is where you go to search for it. They've appeared here. Now let me add a near tail to this account. Uh, I hope my network is still there. Okay, my network is still there. My network is still there. Let me see. Near tail. You're not supposed to be showing me help. It's supposed to be showing me where I can go under preview. Okay, let me check what is going on with it, the network, the internet. Okay, so I, I, I refreshed it. Let me see. 
what it's going to give me okay this is what i'm going to see so i want to customize this form you yeah, have create other form customize this form Should i have a form already so i don't need to create another form so what i can do i don't i'm not ready to share what i need to do is to customize the form so i'm adding near tail functionality to this it's a plugin it's an add-on it's working you can see it here it's working see it's working so it's trying to customize this form for me then change it to another customize this form now create other amounts create a field that calculates amount based on the currency i have my currency is in naira i'll create and please don't skip this step it's very important so it's naira i've put n as a symbol and it's going to add a summary of all the all the things that a customer is going to click okay it's creating it okay your order form is ready you can customize it further or preview it let's preview before we go ahead and customize we're still going to customize but let's just preview now we're not previewing with google form we're previewing with what near tell google form will give us a different look why near tell will give you the website looking look at our website let's click next this is what it gives you this is what it gives you so let's go back let's go back to customizing let's not customize it there's a customizing that you will use to make it look more um, like what you want this is the customizing this is still near tail i'll click on this first gear icon this is a gear icon okay i'll go to colors i want this platform to be white the background to be white or it's already white i want it to be more white then the background color for the phone field the form area what do i want it to be i think i want it to be white as well by the way this one is white right let's check the one we're using as a prototype it's white everything is white here see it so here two the both places will be white the font color should be black i want it pure black so i'll take it to the end Background image, do I need background image? I don't need it. So I'll save it here, the changes I've made. I've saved my changes. So let's go to fonts. For the heading, I'll use sans serif. Just my choice. You can use anything you want to use. Uh, for the font field, I'll use serif. I don't know why it's affecting that. Let me see what I want that I like. Okay. What sense? I want it to look beautiful. Let me see, let me see how it looks. Oh wow. Okay, so layout it has no layout. Let me see default layout. Okay, now you see it. I'm going to let's see what you have done. Look at how it's looking. Look at how it's looking. Okay, what do you want to buy? It's not looking more like your website right now guys share shop more for more value okay so this is what we built with the preview of what we did so this is what we will tell amount summary we are going to still have a preview of this uh, platform you see you cannot see the images yet let's let's preview the platform okay i clicked on preview Mm -hmm. so this is the preview i think you should if you're using your form this point 
at this point you should use your phone to check this thing out you see how beautiful it looks here what do you want to buy i want to buy vegetables i click here okay you see our products is loading let's let me refresh it i want everything to load I want all the items to be seen. This is an e-commerce platform, so all the images that we've uploaded should be seen here. We shall see our basket of tomatoes. I'll click one and buy stuff now. I'll buy one with green pepper. I'll buy Cameroon pepper. The drop down type. And I click next. Said so, item just to have been added to your shopping bag. Are you done shopping? I said, No, I'm not done shopping. I want to shop more. This is uh, I've got vegetables. Let me buy two bars. Mm -hmm. Two bars. Where is my sweet potato? The pictures are not coming out. I think it's because of network. So I'll go here. Okay, let me say I'm done shopping. Let me say yes takes me to review your cart now this is what i've bought this is the summary of what i've bought choose a category and click next below vegetables you don't shop you tubers tomatoes green all of this is 2600 naira this is what i've bought so i can go ahead and click in the esther Lord, one, two, three, four, somewhere in the verse. My email address at gmail.com. This is my phone number. Additional instruction no so I cannot place my order here yeah, I'm not gonna submit this let me go I want to I want this um, submission button to be in green color so so I want it to be in green color and instead of submit I went Please order. Please order. Then um, I'll change the color to green or lemon. Change it to something. The color that I like because it's going to WhatsApp. I like to look at WhatsApp on the phone. This is where I can enable payment, but not enable payment. Same time someone submits their request form order i should be able to send them an invoice and then we will make payment on submission i want when the person submit i want to customize a message for them thank you for shopping for trusting goosey with your orders so um this is what i've written thank you for trusting goody for your orders we will deliver to your doorstep shall we click here for more now i want to click i want to add a link a link let me add a link let me add a link to that place let me show you how to add a link to our platform see click here for more instead of saying click here for more i'll put my link here this is very bad link hyperlink i'll put it here i'll put the link here click ok and i will now be click here for more i will now save it click For more 
Vamos inserir assim. Assim. Corta. Vamos inserir. Let's preview and see what we have on black clothes, the previous preview. Uh, let's preview it again. And I want to go straight to where I want to go straight to something. Next. Yes, I'm done shopping. I love this. Let me submit first. Let me please order. Mm -hmm. Click here for more. Look at our link. Thank you for trusting Guzi with your orders. We will deliver to your doorstep shortly. Click here for more. When you click here, this is the link that we created using that hyperlink. So it's taking you to our own site. I just added a link there. You understand it? Just added it for you to see another side. So here it is. Click here for more. Print your own form. This is too cost to it's too cost to click here for more. And remember, if you remember, it didn't take us to WhatsApp. Why didn't it take us to WhatsApp? Because we've not configured WhatsApp. Now let's configure WhatsApp. I also close this one. Let's continue. Let's let's configure WhatsApp. Okay. And for you to configure WhatsApp, you have to go to Google Form. We've used this uh, near tail. You close it. You go here. Let's configure WhatsApp so that when we say please order, it will take you to WhatsApp. Let me click here. Customize configure WhatsApp number. Customize this form. Okay. Let me configure WhatsApp number. Is working okay so configure whatsapp number this is nigeria i'm going to put my mtn numbers the one that you guys have three one zero seven zero three one two two nine nine eight two i'm going to confirm how to be with your phone try it with your phone number so that when they're configuring it you can receive the prompt to confirm whether it's working so it's configuring right now okay, let's test the form check your whatsapp okay let me check my whatsapp okay just here your form is ready i got it i got it 10 15 let me click on it did you get the form link on whatsapp yes i did let me click next. Whom do you want to share the link with? I'll share it myself. I don't want to. Is it training us? I don't want to disturb anybody. Wow, look at how beautiful this is looking on my phone. So with myself, were you able to submit a form? I'm trying to submit a form. Okay, I'm trying to submit a form, guys. Yes, I'm done. Okay, I place all that here. Yeah, he sent it to WhatsApp, send it to my so you can try all of the link I'm going to provide on this place to submit. Click. I want you to create your own form and send and send it to yourself. Then let me see what you've done. To get more response to WhatsApp, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I was ever here to submit form. Yes, I was. I was I was able to so this is the link guys I'm going to provide you guys with this link or oh, I have provided it uh, I'll copy the link and I'll use it okay share this link to your users so I should share this link to my users even the one I got on my whatsapp I can share that to the same link okay your response has been recorded. Thank you. So I've submitted it and see the submission. What I submitted, look at the response here. Look at the response here. So when someone submits a form to your platform, 
you're gonna receive the response on your phone if you check your phone you also receive a notification on your mail you also receive a notification on your whatsapp directly to your whatsapp there's something i noticed uh, and i have to fix that so i'll fix that from near tail platform i noticed that when you s that people even if you don't feel people uh, we left this thing optional so someone can submit without filling their names so what am i gonna do i'll make this thing required okay i will do it from let me do it from google form i'm gonna make those fields required look at what you're going to do when you don't want a client to miss any step you say required you click required so they can submit this form without filling this part of the form the email is required phone number is required this is a, this is the only place you must make required this is only a part of this form that you must make required uh, you don't need to make this required because okay, I think you should make it required because so someone doesn't edit it and let's just make everything here required okay and that's that and if you, I may have I may want to move this summary up this summary I would like to move it up and I would like to move the total amount up before I cannot see name yes any answer here I've arranged it so let's check it here you just what you need to do is to refresh here and then go to your preview go to your preview Okay, let's just quickly refresh. Say I'm buying oil. Uh, I'm buying this amount. That's the only thing I want to buy. Yes, I'm done shopping because I'm testing something. I'm done shopping, guys. Okay, so this is the, the preview. Okay, both oil. Yes, I'm done. The amount is one, two see i can submit this form yes without filling these places so this is how it works guys and this is it so remember you can preview from form facade which we will give you this is a preview of uh, from a near tail from here you can preview here then from build from google form you can also preview from google form and you can send out to people to test wrong with google form you can send out to your clients with only Google Form here, you shorten it, you copy it. This is the Google Form of your platform. I will also share it with you in the detailed uh, writing I'll send. Okay. Okay, I've copied it. This is the Google Form. So anytime you want to edit anything here, you can do it here. It's either you can do it on Google Form or you can do it on this editing platform over near tail platform you can request for assistance from this person here this platform now has a virtual assistant who can help you if you want to go to google form without going through this place yeah you can go, click here google form to take you back to this google form here yeah to quickly take you to google form where you can edit so it's all yours freestyle and freestyle and freestyle so, I uh, will be hearing from you. Let me show you what I have for you. Okay, I think I'll do that in the next video. I'll add it to this one. So, see you in the next video where I'll be trying to build this particular platform. The one for courses. In, um, podcasts, blogs, and all of that. That's the next thing I'm going to build. See you guys in the next video. Bye!